question and answers. MTA question and answers. That's what I decided to call it. Nobody gave it a title. Question and answers. Let's do it simple like everybody else does. Please subscribe. Press the like button and the notification. <laughs> Anyways, somebody asked me a question. They said, what is a harder job? Bus driver or train driver? This is completely my opinion. I'm not trying to bash anybody. I'm not trying to say anything about anybody. Every job has its pros and its cons. In my opinion, what's a harder job? I'm gonna say my job. The reason I'm gonna say my job is because we control this vehicle and we move it left to right. Simple as that. In a train you go, you know, from stop to stop. Train drivers do experience crazy things that I know for sure. My cousin was a train driver. People actually throw themselves in front of trains. I don't have the balls to do that. Whoever can do that, you have some big cojones. You have a big pair. Suicide is something that I'm not laughing about or trying to make fun of. To be a train driver and to see that, your life is gonna change. I know when train drivers start working, they start at a, a real high pay. So they're always making money from the get. There's a lot of things that come with being a train driver that I don't wanna bash. The fact that a bus driver has to do customer service, that's it. Customer service is not for everybody. People cannot handle customer service. That is a constant interaction with people. The driving part, it's fun to me. The customer service part, it's great to me. But for some people, they can't chew and walk. And also, they don't understand that people are not supposed to treat you any way that you think in your head. That's an expectation. So being a bus driver is tricky. Being a bus driver, you must be safe. You have to follow rules. You have to follow laws. You can get arrested if you do the wrong things. We wear a uniform and we're backed by the city, but we're not protect by the city. It says up here, your vehicle, your responsibility. That means something happens, it's on me. Nobody's protecting me. Yes, I have a union and they'll tell me or defend me. But the truth is at the end of the day, consequences come on me. I take a red light camera, I pay for that ticket. Did you know that? There's just a lot of things with being a bus operator that brings so much stress, that brings so much. You are reminded that cash fare on local and limited buses is $2.75 there's a lot of things that we need to acknowledge and adjust to there's a lot of safety things we need to pay attention to I mean, there's a lot of safety rules we have to basically oblige to and always obey. And they're even hard to do. Like Vision Zero, it's hard. People say, oh, a bus driver shouldn't drive over 15 miles per hour. I imagine you doing a two hour run that was done in a paddle with the speed limit of 25 miles, 15 miles, and you're driving in and out of bus stops for three hours. It's tough, it's draining on the body. And the way you live your lifestyle also affects a bus operator. Meaning if you like to go out and have fun, which is not a crime, and have a drink and go out dancing and party, those things affect, those things affect bus operators. Because we're bus operators, it's like a cop. A cop is a cop in duty and off duty. A bus driver is a bus driver in duty and off duty. And meaning the way you live your lifestyle, if you don't work out, if you don't do things, when you get under that seat, you're gonna be more sluggish, you're gonna be less alert, and it affects your mood, and now you have this customer service thing that some people don't wanna deal with. So there's just a lot of things. So in my opinion, I think it's harder being a, a, a bus driver, a bus operator, but every job is different, and I've never worked that job, so that's just my opinion. And that's the first question I decided to answer in MTA question and answer.